Shane Fields. Is everybody all set up? Good to go? All right, fire away with questions then. Shay, obviously uh, this is a big game for you. Being an LA guy, you were recruited by SC, and uh, especially with throwing in last year's aspect of you not being healthy for either of the LA games, does that add a little bit more to this game for you? Uh, I mean, not really. It's just a normal game. Just got to come out, uh, just be ready, be focused, have a good week. Well, not good weeks, but good days of practice this week. And just come out ready to play on Saturday. Hey, Shay, how you doing? Good, how are you? Being graduated on the rankings for a time since 2005, I guess. How do you put that behind you guys? Because, I mean, no one cares on the field what you're ranked, do they? Uh, I mean, it feels great to be ranked. But, I mean, as a team, we want to be lower. And that only comes with winning more games uh, along the road in the Pac-12. So, I mean, we're, we're satisfied, but not too satisfied. We're still hungry. Shay, does USC and CU's history play into this in any way, not having beaten USC since you've been a Pac-12 member and scores early on you know, were pretty outrageous? I mean, it plays a little bit. You, you always want to do something that's never been done before in school history. Uh, so that adds a little bit more fuel to the fire for us. But, I mean, we still going to take that as a regular game for us, too. Yeah. Hey, Shane, the guy you go against in practice, um, Akella Witherspoon, what's been your impression of, of where he's made the biggest improvements from, from last year to this year? Uh, he's made a lot of jumps. He's worked on his technique, uh, more patient. He's a he's a fundamental sound guy. Uh, I mean, he's a linky guy, but he's made great strides in the offseason. He's he's improved a lot of his game. Hey Shay, uh, growing up in the LA area, were you a USC fan as a kid? <laughs> yeah, I was. I was, but I mean, now I'm a Buff fan. But gotta be. Growing up in the front yard, was there a USC jersey you wore? Was there someone you pretended to be when you were playing ball with the fellas? Um, I'm pretty sure everybody wants to be Reggie Bush. Pretty sure. <laughs> um, during that Oregon game, you guys had that big lead. I saw Kenyon Barber, Barner, former running back for Oregon, tweet something like, Colorado? Really? Do you guys still feel like from some of the top teams in the Pac-12, the Oregons, the USC's, that you still have some respect to earn from them? I mean, we have respect to earn from everybody, honestly. Um, I mean, this is our first time being ranked. We just got to go out, prove that we, we are a ranked team. Um, some teams just don't respect us. We just got to make them believers. Shay, USC has started off out with a really slow start mm -hmm. this year, but they have picked it up, it seems, over the last two weeks. Can you just talk about a little bit what you've seen from them on film? Uh, I mean, we've seen, we've seen some great things, some things that we can do, and also some things that uh, might give us a little problem, but we got to work on it in practice. Uh, we've seen that they've improved, like you said, over the last two weeks, and uh, just gotta be ready. That's, that's what it comes down to. Shay, the Buffs will head to LA to take on Southern Cal as a ranked team heading in mm -hmm. as the underdog. Um, what that says to me is that there are still a lot of people on the national level who consider the last decade of the program's struggles to be reflective of what this team is instead of what you guys have done already. What is it gonna take for people to, to start believing? Uh, just winning games, I mean, you have to win games in order to make people believe us. So that's what we have to come out and do. Shay, is there anything you have to do differently when Steven is playing instead of Monta or instead of Sefo? Not really. Um, I'm pretty sure I just have to go out run my routes as fast as I can, just like I do with Sefo. Um, pretty much the same timing to me. It's just different, different name, really. Different guy, different name. Do those quarterbacks, <clears throat> as a receiver, do you handle that any differently? Depending who's who's left behind center. Uh, a little bit, we kind of, when Montez is down, we kind of pick him up a little bit more than we do Seppo because he's a more experienced guy, as you can tell. But uh, we, we still we still pretty much handle it like he's our leader on the field when Seppo's not there. Shay, of course, us here in the media, we're always inquiring about who's going to be the starter this week and stuff uh, like that. As players in the locker room, are you guys curious about who's going to start this week? I mean, we're always curious. We want to uh, <laughs> see who's going to start, but... At the end of the day, it's the coach's decision, and we'll find out when it comes to uh, close to game time. You were talking about uh, going against these cornerbacks, especially Adoree Jackson. I know you're going to bring some good corners in practice, but you talk about him specifically and uh, the challenge going into a secondary. Uh, he's a great player. I mean, 
just like we played against Jabril, Jabril Peppers, who's a great player also. Uh, we just got to go out, try to outwork him, do what we can against him. And uh, if not, we can go against other guys too. So it's not a problem to us. How have you seen Steven's demeanor change in the huddle, or have you seen it change? Has he gotten a little bit more uh, in command, or was he that way from day one? Or how have you seen him grow in that respect? Uh, that first day that he he was told he's going to play, he kind of seen a, a fire lit in him. Kind of, he was a uh, more more amped up. You could say he was, I mean, leading the offense, getting the line huddled up, or getting the receivers. Especially when we would have bad practices, he would get on us like just like Zeppo. So he was kind of that leader away from our original leader. Any final questions? Thank you.